Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into the ninth episode of our Let's Play Clash Royale series, and let's just go ahead and get into a battle. I really don't have any upgrades to do with any of my cards, and taking a look at our first battle, we're going to be matched up with a level 7, which is probably going to be a common occurrence, seeing as we're all the way up in Spell Valley. Okay, so Goblin Barrel to start. I played my Valkyrie. Could have played it to get two of those goblins at once, which I've done really well on my main account when people use Goblin Barrel, but didn't work out so well right there. But seeing as he has used a ton of elixir on that first push, we're just going to run down the left-hand lane, and a Hog Rider is definitely not the defensive card of choice. I don't know about you guys, but Hog Rider doesn't seem to do too much damage to regular troops. Looks like we're going to go for another push down the right-hand lane. Remember, guys, it's not always good just to go down one lane. It's really uh, smart to switch it up, and that's what we're going to do right here. Knight plus the Goblins. Notice how I played the Goblins behind the Knight, and it gave the Knight a speed up, which is pretty neat if you guys have never done that before. Um, and yeah, one tower down, one tower at 500 HP. Things are looking really good as we play the Toronto Raptors, and let's go ahead and fireball those Goblins as he drops his barrel. Okay, so resetting where we are, we're probably down like one or two elixir to him. He's going to drop that skeleton army with really nothing to back it up. Valkyrie will make quick work of those skeletons. And now we're going to have a full health Valkyrie going down the left-hand lane. And that means we can wait for him to deploy something there. And then we can go down the right-hand lane and I should be able to take him out. Okay, so Hog Rider goes down. And I'm going to drop a bomb tower. I dropped it in a terrible decision or in position though. I think I was actually checking Twitter when I made that play. Uh, so because of that, I took a lot of damage on that tower. Uh, so let's just go ahead and reset. Still have that tower at 96 HP, but still we don't have a ton of direct damage in this deck. We only have the fireball. So we definitely have to be uh, sort of cautious and not try to bring on or make this match last too long or else he might be able to take us out. Okay, so Baby Dragon will take care of those minions. Looks like those are all going to die. Unfortunately, my Baby Dragon died for some reason because it's only level one. He's going to drop another Goblin Barrel. Let's go ahead and fireball that. And with 56 seconds left, he's going to have to commit down the left-hand lane, which is what he's going to do right now. I honestly, well, I guess I should have dropped that Valkyrie. That's a pretty smart idea. But let's go ahead and push down the right-hand lane using our Prince as well as some Goblins, seeing as he's invested on that left-hand push. Okay, so Giant Skeleton, first time we've seen that in this match. That's actually going to be a little bit of a pain to deal with. Let's drop our Baby Dragon to help out with those Skeletons. And I'm making sure that we don't drop too many troops near that Giant Skeleton, so its bomb doesn't just completely evaporate us. We're going to let the Musketeer die. Unfortunately, the Baby Dragon will die. And a Knight should be able to help us out, as well as a Valkyrie in the back. And only 507 hit points left on that tower, which means we can go on an insane push, which is what we're going to do right now as our... Prince actually comes back, which was a little bit surprising. I dropped a wow, but now we can go for the end. Look at all of those troops we have together. That's going to do it. Fireball onto the tower. Looks like his giant skeleton is going to be able to do a little bit of damage. And our musketeer is actually going to take one last shot at the tower, bringing it to 107 HP. Giant Skeleton honestly was like the best card he could have played there, so we played that pretty well. Hog Rider's going down the lane. I actually need to take care of this. This is getting surprisingly close. So 1,000 HP left. Knight will be able to take care of those goblins, and with only our Fireball remaining, that'll wrap it up for this battle as a level 5 taking down a level 7, and a good game to Vinmic of the Toronto Raptors. I don't know if it's an actual to Toronto Raptor. We'll have to find out later, but 37 trophies and a golden chest. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and check out where we are. We're at 1,411 trophies. We are finally in the Spell Valley, which means we can unlock a bunch of new cards. We're going to get the Zap. We will get the Wizard. We'll get... Uh, I think it was the Mirror and maybe the Elixir Collector. It went a little bit too fast for me. And as far as the Legendary card goes, I don't remember which one it is, to be honest. I, yeah, I'm drawing a blank because when Legendaries came out, I was already at 3,000 and something trophies. So not really sure. I'm sure I'll know after this video. He's going to play a Mortar starting off with this guy. And uh, again, I think I was checking Twitter or something, so I didn't make an exact uh, response right away, which led to a really annoying Mortar play. I'm going to Fireball both the Mortar and the Inferno Tower, but still took up bunch of free damage there plus his spear goblins on the right hand side really really annoying stuff i don't know if i've said that already and now that he's going with that goblin barrel i had to shuffle through all my cards eventually we found my knight and since we got that free knight let's go ahead and go with the prince as well as maybe some goblins and this should be able to push the left hand lane okay so mortar isn't going to help him here 
Prince is going to start sprinting at that tower, and uh, that's going to be able to do a decent amount of damage. It's sitting at about 1,000 HP right now. We should be pretty much even after this trade, so uh, not too bad. Again, level 5 facing a level 7. Things are pretty tough for us right now. Let's go and play a Musketeer on this Mortar, and uh, they should be able to 1v1 each other. And actually, thinking about dropping my Fireball right there, decided it wasn't worth it. Valkyrie, aka Valkyrie, aka whatever. I need to Google that and see what the proper pronunciation is. But anyways... Baby Dragon plus our Valkyrie, Valkyrie, whatever you want to call it. Running down the lane, looks like it's going to be stopped by that Inferno Tower. Let's drop a Fireball. If we can actually Fireball this in time, our Valkyrie should be able to take a little bit of damage off of that tower. Two hits, going to get it to 415 HP. Another Goblin Barrel right there. Super annoying. And uh, only 136 HP left on this tower. So definitely need to be afraid, especially when you're a lower level. You never want to be a tower down because if they just turtle up and play defense, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. He's going to drop a cannon in the very center. Taking a look at what we want to play, let's drop our bomb tower. And I'll actually drop it one step up so it attacks the mortar as well. And uh, yeah, pretty nice trade right there as far as buildings go. We can drop our Valkyrie on top of these spear goblins. And now, as we have a full health or Valkyrie down the right-hand lane, let's drop our Prince. He's going to drop a rocket. That's absolutely insane. There goes all of his elixir. Prince will take out that tower. Looks like he's going to take out that cannon and even go for the king tower as well. So, uh, again, another spear goblin or another goblin barrel. Going to be taken out pretty quickly. And now we should have a decent elixir advantage going into this next push. So 30 seconds left, taking a look at what he has. He's got that Inferno Tower, gonna drop our Prince right in its face. You guys always wanna make sure you utilize that space that you get uh, for attacking, or for destroying one of their towers. Prince is gonna attack that tower. Musketeer is gonna get off another shot. One more shot from the Musketeer, bringing it to 212 HP. Not sure exactly how much damage my Fireball does. I'm gonna have to check that in a second. It looks like he's gonna drop his Goblin Barrel. Valkyrie's gonna be able to attack one, if not two of those. Looks like our Musketeer is going to go down. Not too much HP left on everything that he has. Again, checking my Fireball doesn't look like it does enough damage. So I'm just going to start pushing. We're going to play our Goblins to take out this Inferno Tower. And now with this push making its way to his tower, one last Fireball to take him out. Not going to need it. Two crown to one victory against another level 7 inside of the Spell Arena. So 2-1, to one, 34 trophies, as well as the silver chest, not too shabby. Still haven't reached that point where we find level 8s, I guess, but I don't know. It's going to be a sad time when we start reaching some of these really high level guys and can't push anymore. Uh, I'm not sure if I should go down back to the lower levels so I can actually teach you guys who are playing other level 5s what to do instead of just having these ridiculous matches against level 7s, which is pretty crazy. But anyways, let's go into this next and probably final match against one of our friends from an Asian clan. I don't know exactly which language. And let's start off with a knight in the very back. So see what he's gonna play next. Okay, he'll play the giant skeleton. And Bomb Tower, even though it doesn't do a lot of single target damage, will do plenty of damage to take that giant skeleton out. I'm actually thinking about dropping my Musketeer, but notice how I don't drop it just yet. I'm actually gonna wait for that bomb to explode from the giant skeleton. As soon as it does, we can drop our Musketeer now, and that will be able to take out that dragon and we can go on an offensive push. Okay, so Prince has gone down, Goblins as well, sprinting towards the tower, Barbarians are gonna be inside of his deck, and since our Prince is, or our, yeah, Prince is only level two, he's not gonna have the damage to actually take the Barbarians out in two shots or a charge shot, so that's really, really bad for us. Our Prince is almost useless this game unless we can get him on a completely naked tower. So yeah, we're gonna have to play a lot of defense. I imagine this guy's pretty good, especially because he's level six. Um, so yeah, let's just play some defense. Probably start off with our bomb tower next. And uh, he's gonna play the Spear Goblin Hut. So definitely play that bomb tower, even though it's level two. That's so sad compared to that level four Goblin Hut. And uh, I probably need a request for, for uh, I guess, Request for those bomb towers inside of my next donation. Okay, anyways, let's just reset. He's gonna drop a witch in the back. Bomb tower plus baby dragon are two great counters to the witch. He'll drop a dragon right there. Not really a great dragon. Baby dragon doesn't have a ton of damage against buildings, obviously. And uh, looks like we'll be able to take that out. Another giant skeleton. Not really even much sure what to play here. I guess I'll play a knight, but both... I, I don't know, maybe the knight will live, but the musketeer will die, but it looks like he's going to go ahead and play some more troops down the right-hand lane, which means we're going to go for a push down the left-hand lane, because I knew he was low on elixir, and since he was low on elixir, couldn't play the barbarians in time, and we're going to end up getting an insane amount of damage on that left-hand side. 
Okay, so time to play a little bit of defense. Obviously, we're pretty greedy with that prince. Luckily, it didn't end up hurting us. Bomb towers can be able to take care of those barbarians. Baby dragon, even though it's level one, will do enough damage to take care of those minions eventually. And now with 40 seconds left, we've got to be creative with how we're going to get to that left-hand tower uh, because it's going to probably be pretty tough. So Valkyrie making its way. He's going to play another bomber right there. Let's go for a Prince Goblin push. Do we have the damage to run at that tower? Unfortunately, we didn't, weren't able to take it out. Baby Dragon again on the right-hand side. And this one's probably going to overtime. we got 20 seconds left. Not sure what I want to play just yet. Wow, he's got a big push down this right-hand lane. More than I ever thought. Gonna drop our knight. He drops a minion horde. We need some fireballs. And this fireball was actually missed, and I missed two of those minions. Look at those minions. The tower is at 950 HP. And because of that one miss, the tower is down to 280 HP, a big miss, costing me 700 hit points on that tower. And at this point, I'm in pretty much peril. I know that he's got, obviously, the card advantage, the level advantage, but he also had uh, a tower advantage right there, or a tower HP advantage. I'm going to keep playing defense, guys. I can't get too aggressive, can't get too cheeky with my pushes, especially because he has those barbarians. Going to drop our musketeer, another minion horde. Let's drop our fireball. Please don't miss the minion horde. Okay, we only missed one minion. That's okay. And now let's wait to see what he does next, seeing as there's only 30 seconds left in the game. Okay, so Knight will go down on this giant skeleton and see what we want to play next. I'm going to play a Valkyrie Prince push. We're going for the gusto, baby. Valkyrie plus the Prince. We're going to be able to do some good AoE damage, plus having our Prince back us up. Prince is going to go for that uh, bomber right there. Looks like the Prince is going to sprint towards the tower. Prince is going to go for the tower. The fireball is going to go down. That will wrap it up for this game. Another victory against a higher level player, this time taking out a level 6. And he was definitely a skilled level 6. He didn't make too many obvious mistakes, except for committing too hard to that right-hand side towards the end. That's going to give us another crown for our crown chest. And still, we are undefeated on this account. You can see the four games I played today. One was a tie that I didn't show. And then it goes back to some of my games from the last episode. Uh, again, our only loss was inside of a friendly battle on this account. Does not count, especially against a level 8. But yeah, that will do it for this video, guys. A bunch of wins left in the log. Really good stuff. I'm going to keep pushing on this account. We are currently 49-0 and 0 with 27 three-crown victories. Not that we see too many of those anymore. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for this episode. I honestly can't wait to see what happens on our first loss. We've been really close in some of the ones so far, uh, but we definitely clutched it towards the end. And yeah. Let's just see what happens as we go forward to the future. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smack that like button with your forehead. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.